another vlog it is monday today it is almost 7 a.m and i am about to head off to Zarafa's to get a coffee and get some editing done i did this for the first time last week in like months and it was so good i was so productive i was honestly just like living my absolute best life i know so many different countries and even just states in australia can't do this so my heart really goes out to everyone who can't go out to a coffee shop right now but i am so blessed to live in queensland where our restrictions aren't as tight so i'm gonna go into Zarafa's to get some editing done i don't know how the seating will go because there's a limited seating and I don't want to take up space for so long but I'm gonna go and edit until I can't edit anymore and then I have a massive list of things to get done today I unexpectedly had today off I thought that I was gonna have to work and then last night I looked at my roster and I wasn't on so I'm gonna make the most of my time off I feel like I rested and had a good rejuvenating weekend whereas now I'm in hustle mode like I have so much to get done this week and I am determined to get it all done so I'm gonna go get a coffee and get stuck into my work for the day quick little pan over of what I picked up from the grocery store this morning. I got some chicken, some tomatoes, I got some corn relish dip. I needed some new face wash so I picked up this one. This is a Sukin Revitalizing Facial Scrub. It's my favorite. I've been using it for years. I got some baby cucumbers because they're just a fun to snack on and I really enjoy eating cucumbers and capsicum with my dip. I got some ham, I got some yogurt, I got some mango to have in smoothies and mix in with my yogurt. I got some iceberg lettuce, some spinach, some wraps and some Helga's low carb bread. I have been wanting to try this for the longest time but my Coles never has it in stock and today there was one loaf there so I picked it up even though I already have a loaf of bread in the freezer. I'm gonna test this out and see how it goes. And lastly I got two packets of the Australian Quick Oats by Macro. These are my favorite. I don't know why but the consistency with my protein powder is just, just so good. You can't beat it. So I just have this with my chocolate protein powder and just some strawberries for breakfast and it's so good. And I couldn't find this at Coles so I had to go to Woolworths to find it so that's why I bought two because I don't go to Woolworths very often but yeah that is everything that I picked up. I'm going to prep my chicken I think and then pop this all away in the fridge and then hang out some washing and then get some more editing done. Very productive Monday. currently 4.30 and I finished up all of the work that I wanted to get done this afternoon. Did a couple of adulting things which I've been meaning to do for so long so it's so good to get that out of my mind. And I smashed out a little bit more editing, cleaned the house, meal prepped my food for the week. Feeling really good, feeling on top of it. But I was sick of sitting in front of my computer all day so I popped out and I am on a walk at the moment. Sorry if you can't hear me too well because this jacket is so loud. This is the black puffer jacket that I showed in my latest Princess Polly haul. I am obsessed. This is the first time I've been able to wear it because as you can tell the weather there is not it <laughs> but I'm just out on a quick walk and when I go home I'm gonna do a zoom call workout and then I'll cook myself some dinner and then have an early night tonight which I'm really excited about a good Monday a good start to the week where there's so many people around anyway just thought I would keep you updated I'm gonna continue on my walk
Bukan It is now Tuesday and I just finished up at a PT session. It was leg day, killed me. But I'm currently on FaceTime with my friend Amy, which is so great. She's in Melbourne, stuck in isolation. So we're hanging out for a little bit this morning. But while I'm on FaceTime, I'm gonna set up my coffee grinder. Rachel got me it for my birthday and I haven't opened it yet because I genuinely just have not had time, but I am so, so excited. We're literally gonna have like a mini cafe in our kitchen and I'm pumped about it. So I'm gonna unbox that and open it. I don't know if it's gonna be hard to set up or not, but I feel like hopefully with some of my barista knowledge, I'll be able to set it up fairly easy. We'll wait and see. <laughs> I already know I'm gonna have to read instructions and I'm mad about it. Look at the little hopper, are you kidding me? It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I don't know what the heck this is. Oh, oh I think this is to like hold the grind. Insert under grind outlet. Oh, I <laughs> Oh my gosh, that hopper is so cute. I'm gonna cry. Um, where's this thing? Wash and dry bean hopper and dry grinds container. Is that enough? I don't know. Select and insert porter, filter, and cradle. Sorry? What? <laughs> Do you know what a porter, filter, and cradle is? Threat or ex barista. Oh, this is a porter filter. Just so you know. Small or large? Why is there small and large? <sighs> Oh, what? That just leaves so perfectly. Oh, that's so fun. This is so intense. That was a bit intense. That is a good amount. I just did that. So I just did my first cup of coffee and it looks okay. Like the crema is not that bad. It looks okay, but it went for a minute and 30 seconds, which normally it should only go for 30 seconds, like 28 to 30 seconds. So a little coffee trick or a little barista knowledge for you all. <laughs> I don't know if this is important to anyone, but I'm going to tell you anyway. You want to think of your coffee grind either like a pile of sand or a pile of rocks. If the water is running through the coffee grind and it is going too fast it's kind of like the water's running through rocks and because there's bigger gaps between the rocks it's going to run faster which means you need to make it a bit more fine so it's a bit more like sand whereas if it's running too slow that means it's kind of running through sand and there's no gaps in the sand it's taking ages to like seep through the sand so you need to make it a bit more coarse so there's more gaps in the sand i don't know if that makes sense at all basically if it's running too slow you want to make it coarser if it's running too fast you want to make it finer so there's a little knob on the side of this grinder so i'm going to change the grind size and see if it times better normally you want to do it like in small increments but i think because it ran for a minute 30 i'm gonna change it a lot it's still slow look at it i don't know what i'm doing wrong hello friends the lighting is not the best and it might be a little bit windy so i'm very sorry but it is currently just past midday and I was gonna go to Zarafa's and edit like I did yesterday just because I feel like I went for so long without doing it so now it's all I want to do but I got in my car and I was driving and I was like the weather today is actually beautiful like this is my perfect ideal weather so I decided to grab my Zarafa's coffee takeaway and I've just come down to a park and I'm just gonna sit here and edit I brought my laptop with me. I'm very, very happy. The sky is so blue. Birds are chirping. Sun is on my back. There's nothing better. I'm gonna sit here and edit for a couple hours, probably until my laptop dies. And then I need to go home and get some work done. I also need to eat lunch at some point. I had a very late breakfast, so I'm gonna have a late lunch. And then probably a late dinner as well. But oh well, what are you gonna do? I 
I did an entire rough cut of vlog, which is fantastic. On the way home, I went to Coles and I picked up some eggs and some oat milk. I posted a vlog yesterday and in it, I tried a dash of almond milk in my long black and it just wasn't the vibe, not my favorite. And so many of you guys said to try out oat milk. So I picked this one up. They have two types. One was like a barista style and one was just like normal organic oat milk. And I figured that since I'm not heating it up, I don't need the barista one. Um, I have tried oat milk once before and I did quite like it. So hopefully this goes well. I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. I'm having such a late lunch. I feel so bad. So I'm going to have some eggs on toast because that's what I feel like. And then I'm going to bring in my washing, do a couple of random things around the house. And then I'm going to go on an afternoon walk. I need to get my steps in for the day because I've been in front of my laptop all day. And then tonight I'm going to do a boxing session, which I'm really, really excited about. Let's eat some lunch. <laughs> I just came on an afternoon walk because I've hurt my shoulder. So I can't go to boxing tonight, which I'm so, so sad about. But I came on an afternoon walk and I thought the sunset was really bad. So I was just walking home and then all of a sudden the sun was beaming on my face and I thought that it was setting so I quickly ran down to this spot where I can watch the sunset and I literally just plonked myself on the floor and I'm just grateful for this life. head to bed so i thought i would end off this vlog here i just thought i would bring you along for a couple of days of my life instead of a whole week but yeah that's kind of what days off in my life look like at the moment just trying to get as much work done as i can while i have some time off work but back to work for the next four days and then i have another day off. not too bad if you did enjoy this vlog don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video in the very near future bye